There's a connection between sound and color, and there's a connection, as you guys are here, there's a connection between the spirit and beauty, the spirit and creativity. These things are like, they're working in tandem. They're not just supplemental, or I'll take a little bit of this. They're, they're talking to each other all the time, whether you know it or not, you know? And there can be discordant, discordant sound. And I'm, I'm a fan of, at times, it works well in a song to elicit what you're trying to tell in the story to have something that's discordant. But there's also a type of discordant harmony, um, color, aesthetic that can actually create disturbance. You know what I mean? Um, I think much of the spike in anxiety and fear and suicide is from very discordant things happening in society that are connected to a spirit of the age that wants to steal, kill, and destroy, you know? So if we can, in tandem with the Holy Spirit, create things that are in harmony with him, it will translate into like image and sound. And you guys know the term, you know, let's change the atmosphere, but it really happens. You know what I mean? Like those things, I remember it was when I was in Portland, it was the beginning of realizing like, oh, I'm getting a little jaded, was when I realized I went through a deep dip and I, before that, I would say, yeah, I just have an artist temperament. I get melancholy sometimes. You know what I mean? Sort of my cop out, you know? Wow. You know, I'm, a, I'm a, this number on the Enneagram, so that's just the way I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but it was, going on, it was going on and on. And my wife was like, maybe you need to seek help, you know? But I remember what happened. We were at the breakfast table, and I like, looked up, and I realized, because even this I would have rolled my eyes at for months leading up to this moment, I said, this is spiritual warfare. And as soon as I said it, we went, oh. and then we started doing something we'd never done before. We started playing like Hillsong in the house and turning like worship music on that up to that point, I hadn't been connecting with maybe aesthetically or something, but I realized, no, but there's power in this. And when we like praise the Lord, it changes things, you know? And so the realization of what I was battling, but then bringing sounds that were in harmony with the kingdom into my house dispelled whatever that was that had been hanging over my family. You know? So, this song's called Colors. And like I said, I wrote it before I, um, before I knew what I was doing. So, let's see. We'll see if it comes off. Some of these songs, you know, you write them with the backing R&B band. And we'll see how this <laughs> works here, you know? Lift up your shoulders, child, breathe in, carry the weight of love you've been given, storm is passing by, light breaks in, as you learn to sing. Every color can be unwound Woven into a wave of beautiful sound Open the heavenlies and shake the ground And change the world Tapestry that we all are in 
No one will ever be forgotten No, there's a place for us So let all the creatures sing Praise I is over everything Colors are meant to bring the glory to the light mm -hmm. So let Oh, oh.